Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 38. This is my third time trying to record this tonight because I keep screwing up the landing and forgetting to quick save. But um, anyway, this is uh, my last attempt at uh, lunar landing. I did um, land last night with this rocket. I tried it out off camera to see if it would work and um, it did. It did. It did indeed. We got to the moon and back. Uh, ooh, I better revert flight to assembly. Let me uh, fix that ladder there. Let me see here. Scroll in. Scroll in. There we go. I uh, just added a little bitty fuel tank there, and that's all it took. We barely make it back on it. Like, we have to use RCS to get our reentry set up. But, other than that, it's pretty good. Um,. Plenty of gas to get there. I guess that's just how that goes. Um, let me check these, make sure I can't lower them down. The main problem is getting enough slowness on, uh, slowing down enough for landing that we don't blow up our uh, our main engine. Uh, I'm recording this barely on to Thursday, September 8th, 2018. Um, let's see. Can we speed this around so that the moon's in a more favorable position? Yeah, I want it like somewhere back in there. All right, good, good, good. All right, that's just so that the light, that's, that's to make returning easier. So uh, without further ado, let's get this on the road. Jeb said on the launch pad for three days. Um, this is the 50th anniversary of Star Trek Day, I have learned, uh, but didn't have any videos prepared for that or anything, so you'll have to settle for Kerbal Space Program. Um, well, the other newsworthy thing I just saw on Twitter was uh, South Korea has detected seismic activity they think is another North Korea nuke test, but uh, personally I just think Kim Jong-un fell over. Uh, again, but anyway. So that is that. Not a whole lot else going on other than work stuff. So. Uh, but let's get this guy up into orbit. Some Delta V input in here. Alrighty, we're climbing, 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 climbing. This onion design seems to work pretty well. Now, when I went to the moon last night, I didn't actually set foot on it. I just landed the craft and took off again just to see if I could make it back. And it worked. So we haven't still officially walked on the moon, so I guess that kind of counts, right? Or does it count? Um, hopefully this will work again. Get that up into the 80s. Get this up to like a thousand. There we go. Bang. All right. All right. Good enough. I'm going to go ahead and do like a little fast forward deal here while I get into a better, while I get into orbit of the moon and uh, ready to land because you guys have seen me do this enough. Uh, all I'm going to do is come out and flatten my orbit out and then transfer over, which you guys have seen. Um, or I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it in for baby people new to the channel. But uh, anyway, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's let's not do the fast forward thing. Uh, let's get up here. So when you're when you're getting yourself into orbit, you want to wait until you're up near your highest point, and then wait for it. Let's see. This is the apoapsis, your highest point. All right. Now that you're pretty close to it, the way I do it is just aim for the horizon here on the gimbal and light them up because that puts the energy. I'm pointing with my fingers, like you can see it into the horizontal direction of your of your orbit so that you know you flatten it out instead of climbing higher um, if you're a notch below the horizon that's fine too but I probably kind of want to be there unless you want your apoapsis to climb more but we've got all of these boosters going man that is a lot of rocket We need about 2,000 meters per second to get into a nice orbit at this height. So we'll shed the weight there. We'll keep these going. We're almost there. Just another 
four or five hundred meters per second or so. Dip this down a little bit. Let's see, where's our periapsis is going to pop out over here any second. There it comes. Just get it up above the atmosphere. Oh, 74, that's pretty close. And we're out of gas on these. And I'm going to throttle that down because that always kind of, yeah, okay. All right, 80 is good enough. Uh, I don't want to use any more fuel doing that, and I have to. Okay, so now, set as target. And we want to line it up with, we want to line the MUN up with our um, vector, with our forward motion there. So, uh, the forward motion in the orbit. So, the way I do that is uh, I just place my... Uh, the arrow here over, I guess that's called, I don't know these terms. I know the, the math and the way it works, but uh, my physics degree is getting a use here. But I don't know these terms on the gimbal because I'm not a flight engineer. Oh, poop, I passed it again because I've got my fingers on the wrong key. All right, well, that's okay. It's Kerbal Space Program. We can run f time fast if we want to. Let's see. Old Jeb will just have to spend a little bit of extra time in orbit. Let's see, so we'll line the, the, this is your target here, this pink thing, and that's the direction of your orbit. So once they're lined up, start your burn. And we don't need to go full speed here. In fact, if we don't, that's fine. Because we will uh, um, use less fuel that way. So let's get this, yeah, see now it's climbing at a pretty good rate. I go a little bit more than half just to get it up there a little quicker. Let's see. This way, you know, you're putting all your energy into um, getting the most bang for your buck out of your fuel instead of um, fighting against your orbital direction, your the speed you're going, and all that, all, all the stuff that you've already done. Um, this is kind of the more efficient way of doing it, I think. Alright, slow that puppy down. And... There we go. Okay. Now... We are in what's called a transfer orbit, which means we're going to go get picked up by the moon. So we have to head that way. We'll speed things up until we get there. I'm becoming an expert at transferring to the moon. Minmus is a bit trickier just because it's got lower mass, and so you really have to be careful how fast you're going because you'll burn through the fuel trying to slow down to get picked up by it it doesn't have the gravity that the moon has and the moon doesn't have that much either really to be perfectly honest so if you're going too fast you're going to be eating the fuel trying to slow down to get into uh... to get to get caught as they say oh that's perfect alright so now we have a periapsis, and so we're going to wait until we come down to there. All right. Now we're going to burn here in the opposite direction of our orbit to uh, uh, and to put ourselves to insert ourselves into orbit around the moon. So we're going to just use a little bit of fuel here do that. Let's cut back. And we've got it. So there we go. Bang. Okay. So now I think I want to land on this side just uh, for reasons that will become clear when we try to return. So Let's get there, and let's adjust our orbit, let's see if we can use the RCS here 
Nice thing about the MUN is you can really use RCS to adjust your orbit quite a bit. But I'm impatient, so... Alright, that's good enough. Bring ourselves around here. Let's see, might be able to land on that crater. What's our current altitude? Altitudinal status. Now I'm going to hit F5. Quick save. There we go. All right. All right, so now we need to kill the vertical component of our motion. I mean the horizontal component of our motion, so we're going to burn... Everything we've got this way. All right, save a little bit of fuel because we are still quite a ways up. All right. Gear down, light on. So now we've killed our vertical motion. You can see that our vector is starting to get directly perpendicular to the ground. And that was our other stage smashing into the mun. Fun as always. need to slow down how fast we're slowing down and oh crap we're landing on the edge of a crater aren't we well, we'll see how this goes actually how do you load from a quick save let me check that I don't know how let's see let's be uh, key bindings there we go Hold F9, load quick save. Okay, we'll try that. All right, we've killed that vertical motion again. Okay, come on. Bounced. No! 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 God, not again! This happened the last time. Oh, man. Yeah, we... Oof. Let's hold F9. Okay. Whew. Let's not land in that crater again. <laughs> Pro tip. Let's see. Actually, let's let ourselves get down a little bit further. Let's get down below 20 before we start burning. Okay. Yeah. 
gear out, light on. There we go. All right. Get our controls are routed the right way here. All right. I do it again. I hope I didn't do it again. Quick save to the rescue. <laughs> All right. Blade some speed. motion I'm sorry I'm not talking much this is just kind of touch and go Okay, there we go. There's the light and the shadow. All right, that's... Oh, okay. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, whoo, breaks. I don't know if that does anything. Woo, guys. Ah, uh, all right. We have landed on the moon successfully. We have... <sighs> Jeb's all happy. Look at that face. Oh, let's do a crew report. Um, keep, this, uh, keep the thing. All right, yes. Let's see where we landed. Wow, right in the edge of this little lava flow thing here. Sweet. All right, well, let's do do the proper thing. And we are on the surface of the moon. Ooh, all right. He is, he's pretty happy. All right, Jeb, I don't blame you. Let's get you kind of... Maybe if I can get get a good camera angle here. If I don't take a screenshot, nobody will believe it. <laughs> Pixar, it didn't happen. All right. Let's go walking around here. Boing! Oh, yeah. We've got some uh, distance on us. There we go. That's a good shot. It's got that same stupid look on his face. Oh, Jeb. Never change. All right. So, plant flag. Definitely planting a flag here. Call this uh, Jeb. Oh, it's like a caps lock on Jeb's crater. Black text. Um, yes. 
Uh, it finally happened. Alright, so there's our flag planted. EVA report. Alright, we'll keep that. Take surface sample. Holy mackerel, guys! You see that? 120 science! Whoa! Totally gonna be racking up on the science this time. Sweet! Well, let's see. We've got our We've got our RCS we can mess with here, a little jetpack. Hopefully I recorded this. In... Oh, ah, uh, oops, sorry. Jeb had a hard time. All right, all right, we'll put that away. That That's, that's just the recipe for... Okay. Oh, 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 all right. Put that away. All right, guys. Whoo, boing. Thanks for watching this episode. This is quite the nail biter, but I'm going to cut it here and we'll make the return trip episode 39 and I will see you next time.